close your eyes and focus on your breath and tell yourself you're going to train your mind for the next few minutes. We tend to train the mind all the time, but we don't really think about where we're training it. As the Buddha said, if there are certain things you keep thinking about over and over again, that's the inclination that gets developed in the mind. So we want to develop some skillful inclinations to counteract the unskillful inclinations that we've been training it in for so long. We're born here as human beings, and what is our treasure as human beings? Well, it's our virtue. It's the good qualities of the mind. And you don't want to waste these treasures. You want to develop them and get the best use of them as much as you can. So that's why we're meditating. We're developing mindfulness. We're developing alertness. These are qualities that help cover all the other virtues we develop as well. Because you have to remember what's right and what's wrong, what's skillful and what's not, and you have to be alert to what you're actually doing to make sure that your actions really are in line with what you know to be the correct way. And so that's why we have to practice with each breath coming in and going out, because it's so easy to forget from one breath to the next. So we're trying to stitch all these breaths together with our mindfulness. As mindfulness gets stronger, alertness gets sharper, and then it's a lot easier to see what's actually going on and to have the right sense of how to do the right thing, what the right thing would be, and how you can talk yourself into doing it when you don't want to do it. In this way, we look after our treasure as a human breath. As the Buddha said, you could live for a thousand years, but if you haven't trained the mind, it's not worth one day of having trained the mind. Even if your life is only one day, but if you have an opportunity to train the mind in that one day, it's, he said, it's a much more noble life. So we give the quality of nobility to our lives by training the mind. That way human birth really does become something, as they say in Pali, manusa, it means a person with a, or a being with a high mind. Above our ordinary greed, aversion, and delusion, we can raise ourselves up as we develop the mind. So that the human breath really does become something noble. We're not just out there running around after the latest fashion, after the money, after who knows what. We're raising ourselves up so that we can see what's right and what's wrong, and we can actually do something of value for the world around us, at the same time developing good qualities within ourselves. Because those are the treasures that we take with us when we go. And as the Buddha said, when you stock up on treasures like that, there's no criticism of stocking up on too much. The more and more and more you can develop the good qualities of the mind, the better. It's not called greed. It's called initiative, heedfulness, making the most of what you've got. <laughs>